However, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus 3 times x plus 5 times x plus 7 times x plus 9. This is equal to 9. Now, what is the value of x? Now, let's provide a solution from here. Now, the first step from here, we have x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 9. Then multiply x plus 5. Then multiply by x plus 7. This is equal to 9. The next step is that we have x times x here. This is x to the power of 2. Then plus x times we have 9. This is actually equal to 9x. Then plus 3 times x. This is 3x. Then plus 3 times 9. This is equal to 27. Now, we have also here, this is x plus 5 times x plus 7. So we have x times x. This is x to the power of 2. Then plus x times 7. This is 7x. Then plus 5 times x. This is 5x. And then plus 5 times 7. This is plus 35. Cross the parenthesis. This is equal to. 9. The next step is that we have here x squared plus 9x plus 3x. This is 12x, then plus 27. Cross the parenthesis. Then we have here x squared plus 7x plus 5x. This is 12x, then plus 35. Cross the parenthesis. This is equal to 9. Now, here we have x to the power of 2 plus 12x plus 27. Cross the parenthesis. On the other side here, we have x squared plus 12x. Then plus, we can express that 5. This is the same thing as 27 plus 8. This is equal to 9. Now, when you check here, we have x squared plus 12x plus 27. And we have also x squared plus 12x plus 27. So since x squared plus 12x plus 27 here is common here, so we can let x squared plus 12x plus 27, this be equal to u. So let's substitute u back to the equation here so that we have u multiplied by, now here we have u plus 8, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 9. Now we have u times u, this is u to the power of 2, then plus u times 8, this is 8u, this is equal to 9. Now let's take 9 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 2 plus 8u minus 9. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation that is in the form of a u to the power of 2 plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method whereby we have the product here equal to minus 9. We have the sum equal to 8. So we need to identify two factors. We need to identify two factors such that if we multiply those two factors, we, we get a value of minus 9. And if we sum those two factors, then we need to get a value of 8. And these two factors, we have 9 and minus 1. If we say 9 times minus 1, this is minus 9. If we say 9 plus minus 1, this is equal to 8. So let's substitute these factors back to the equation so that we have u squared plus 9u subtract u minus 9. This is equal to 0. Now we have to put two parts here. This is the first part and this is the second part. But from the first part here, 
u is common so we can factor out u into the parentheses we have u plus 9 then minus here we have 1 is common here so we can factor out 1 so that we have u plus 9 this is equal to 0 so we have u plus 9 is common here so we have u plus 9 multiplying by here we have u minus 1 this is equal to 0 now we have got two parts here we have u plus 9 this is equal to 0 and we have u minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this implies that u1 is equal to minus 9 and u2 is equal to 1 now if you recall if you recall we have that x squared plus 12x plus 27 this is equal to u so we can substitute u1 which is minus 9 so that we have x squared plus 12x plus 27 this is equal to minus 9 so let's take minus 9 on the left hand side so here we have x squared plus 12x plus 27 plus 9 this is equal to 0 so we have x squared plus 12x plus 27 plus 9 this is equal to 36 and this is equal to 0 now we have here this is x squared plus now we can express 12x this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by x then plus we have that that 6 this is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 now if you check this particular part here that is x squared plus 2 times 6 times x plus 6 to the power of 2 this is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab which we can express as a plus b raised to the power of 2. Now, in this case here, we have x plus 6 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, from this part here, to solve for x plus 6, we introduce a square root on both sides. So we have the square root of x plus 6 to the power of 2. This is equal to square root of 0. In this case, we eliminate the square root sign here. So that we have x plus 6. This is equal to 0. And this implies that x, that is x1, is equal to minus 6. We have x1 equal to minus 6. Now we have that x1 is equal to minus 6. This is the first solution here. And again, if you recall, we have that u2 is equal to 1. Now, and we know that x squared plus 12x plus 27, this is equal to u. And u in this case is equal to 1. So we have x squared plus 12x plus 27. This is equal to 1. Let's take 1 on the left hand side. So that we have x squared plus 12x plus 27 minus 1. This is equal to 0. So this is x to the power of 2 plus 12x plus 27 minus 1, this is 26, and this is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation here of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 12, and that c is equal to 26. Now, so for x2, comma, x3, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus. We have the square root of b squared minus 4ac 
everything here to parent by 2 times a. So this implies that here we have minus 12 plus or minus, we have the square root of 12 squared minus 4 multiplied by a which is 1, then times c which is 26. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So in this case we have minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared, this is 144, minus 4 times 26, and this is 104, everything here divided by 2. And this implies that this is minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 104, this is 40, everything here divided by 2. Now, the next step from here, this is minus 12 plus or minus. Now, this is the square root of, we can express 40. This is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 10. Everything here divided by 2. Now, we have that x2, comma x3. This is equal to minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 4. This is 2. Then we have the square root of 10. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies that x2, comma x3, this is equal to minus 12 plus or minus. Now we have 2 square root of 10 over 2. In the numerator here, 2 is common here. So we can factor out 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 6 plus or minus square root of 10 everything here divided by 2. So we can simplify 2 and 2 here so that now we have x2 comma x3 this is equal to minus 6 plus root 10 and we have in this case in this case we have x2 is equal to minus 6 plus root 10 and we have that x3 is equal to minus 6 minus root 10. Now we have got three solutions. x2 is minus 6 plus root 10. x3 is minus 6 minus root 10. And we have that x1, this is equal to minus 6. Now, the next step is to verify. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, we have x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 7 multiplied by x plus 9. This is supposed to give us a value of 9. Now, we have that x is minus 6 here. So we have minus 6 plus 3 multiplied by minus 6 plus 5 multiplied by minus 6 plus 7 multiplied by minus 6 plus 9. This is supposed to give us a value of 9. So now, this implies that here we have minus 6 plus 3. This is minus 3 multiplied by minus 6 plus 5. This is minus 1. Then multiplying by minus 6 plus 7, this is 1. Multiplying by minus 6 plus 9, and this is equal to 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 9. Now, this implies that minus 3 times minus 1, this is 3. Multiplying by 1 times 3, this is 3. And this is, should give us a value of 9. So this implies that 3 times 3, this is 9 which is equal to 9. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x equal to minus 6 satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. 
See you in the next video.